Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Pastor Pierre. I wanted to share something with you that I thought about the other day when I was on my evening run. Uh, I was almost finished with my workout and I was making my way up a hill and, uh, and I wanted to slow down and I wanted to take a break and stop. And, and I turned around to look and there was a car coming. So in my mind, I said, listen, somebody's watching you. You have to keep on going. And uh, that was the only thing that kept me going. And then once I made it over the hill, I actually never had to even break. And I thought about how oftentimes in life where we want to quit and we want to give up on things that God has promised us, where when, when we face difficulty, um, that we typically will, will quit. And you know, the Bible says in Galatians 6, be not weary in doing well, uh, for you shall reap if you faint not for you shall reap a harvest if you faint not and I thought about how wow I would have stopped if uh, someone was not coming and if people were not looking uh, at me as I was running and I believe that um, uh, that the Bible teaches us that uh, we must press towards those things. Paul even said in Philippians chapter 3, uh, he says in verse 12, I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection, but I press on to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possess for me. So he says, I press, I press towards those things that set me up for the prize. And uh, I believe that Paul, the prize for him, in the midst of everything he was going through, he recognized that the prize was souls. So uh, he recognized, listen, what I'm going through is not about me, but it's about others. It's about uh, uh, souls being added to the kingdom of God. And I want to encourage you with that, that just as I would, I kept on going because I knew that someone was watching. Someone is always watching you and I. Uh, they are watching to see how we go through what we go through. Um, uh, and there are sons and daughters all around the world uh, who have not perhaps come to the knowledge of the things of Christ, but they are wanting to see someone else survive and make it. So you've got to understand that you've got to continue. I have to continue on this race that we are on because people are watching and we are on assignment. So it's not about us. Paul recognized that, listen, I'm pressing towards this prize, pressing towards the things that are going to set me up for the prize, which is to win souls to the kingdom of God. And I've got to recognize that it's not about me. Uh, he even said in uh, Philippians chapter 1, uh, verse 12 from the Message Bible, it says, I want to report to you, friends, that my imprisonment here has had the opposite of of its intended effects. Instead of being squelched, the message has actually prospered. Another version says that the chains I'm in, they are for Christ, and it's for the furtherance of the gospel. So you be encouraged that, th that what you are going through, that what I am going through, that what we are going through in our communities, in our families, in our churches, and even in this nation, what we are experiencing, regardless of how difficult it is, is actually for the furtherance of the gospel. And although the enemy may mean things for bad, God has already worked those things out for good in that our imprisonment are chains. It's going to have the opposite effect uh, as, it, as, it, as it pertains to how the enemy intended it. So be encouraged. You're on an assignment. You cannot quit. So now get yourself out of the rut that you are in, just like Paul did. Press towards those things. They're going to set you up for the prize. Trust and believe that everything you're experiencing right now is for the furtherance of the gospel. Peace.